Libra, come on in. Put your feet up. Make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Gen TV. All right, Libra. This is your love reading. I've just got out of the shower. That's why I'm wet in the hair department. All right. I'll just shut up. All right, Libra. What do you need to know about love? Bear in mind, my loves these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box for those links to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. I'm not doing private readings at this time. All right, Libra. I've just gone past it. Hang on. One more. One biggie. Libra. I'm just fighting with my mind as to uh, what spread I'm doing here. All right. of the deck we've got the nine of wands here it's boundaries you've been hurt and uh you're prepared ready if you have a look in the background there look the sun's on it's it's rising it's coming up that's sunrise she's prepared she's ready to fight whatever's coming but the sun's rising and that's that's always good cards want me to keep talking I'm gonna uh, this has been a problem for you it, it seems like recently I want to say recently but uh, it seems like a pattern is is being evolving for you um people entering your life that aren't available and you're like, you're not looking for that. But it sort of seems like people who enter your life, they're not happy in theirs. And they think that you're the good time person that's going to um, fulfill them, make them happy. But that's not going to make you happy, is it? Yeah, it looks like you're coming out of this. Six of Swords. Justice. Yeah. I could keep going. But it, it looks like you're coming out of this now. You're finding your balance in this. You. You're not going to let somebody else in who's not emotionally or any other way available to you. So the overall vibes of the reading, we've got the Ace of Cups. That's a cup of love overflowing right there. A new beginning in love. And the cause of it is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is about news, opportunities. But I also see the Page of Wands as being They're always sort of looking for, for something else. They're always like, what else is there? So I sort of feel like it's not a commitment. And that, that sort of feels like when love has entered your life or romance has entered your life, it's, it's not been about commitments. It's been about people that aren't available. And they're just looking for a good time. And I think for some of it, it's been nice for a minute. I sort of feel that with the page of ones, that energy of, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's all right. I've met somebody. They're, they're, they're fun. They're nice. Oh, right. Okay. No, no, they're not. They're, 
they're in a relationship with somebody else. They just, they just got a bit bored of that and wanted to have some fun. Great. That's, that's kind of the energy I'm picking up here for me. So what you need to know right now is this is you now. You're the mermaid there holding that cup and you're like, no, I'm not going to give my cup to anyone, especially not you, mate. You got three cups there. You don't need any more. I don't like any of those cups. I want that one that you've got. Nah, I'm a magical, mystical being. I don't need to share my cup of love with anyone. That's your energy right now. Tell me more about this four of cups here. What Libra needs to know right now. This is this, this is what it is. It's something that it's 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 like you kind of uh, other patterns that have been ongoing in your life. You've broken those. It's just like a whole new one. So like we've got these two threes here and we've got this nine of pentacles. It just sort of seems like yeah, in the background there, there's the fox gloves. They're very toxic. You don't need to give your couple of to anyone. Especially not people who aren't willing to commit, who aren't willing to see your worth. I see that with this Three of Pentacles. So what is they that's that's I sometimes see the Three of Pentacles, not with this in particular, but with uh the Three of Pentacles in the right of way. There's somebody up on a pedestal and they're you know, they're being looked at adoringly by by the other characters and they're you know they're building something together i don't really see that with this one i see a little cat with green eyes looking on spiteful little cat I don't know, this just sort of, I, I, looking into this card like, uh, intuitively, it just feels like you're putting a whole lot of work in to uh, sort your life out and get to your Nine of Pentacles and, and bring abundance in and and, and uh, clear out the energies that are no longer serving you. Been doing a lot of saging of late. Got my hair. When I wash my hair, it looks crazy. I, I'm one of those people who has to blow dry, I'm afraid. You are getting to this point. You're not one, you're not willing to give your cup of love to somebody who's not all in. That's good. Anything else Libra needs to know right now? Something's coming up, my loves. All right, what's coming up in the near future then? Stuck in the past. Six of cups in reverse. They just fell out of my mouth, actually. I didn't think the words, they just came out of my mouth, stuck in the past. I wanted to say six of cups, but I said stuck in the past <laughs> instead. Yeah, that is generally a kind of a meaning of the six of cups in reverse. It's just very strange that I didn't think it. My mouth said it. Six of cups in reverse. Tell me more about this. Somebody who's perhaps an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, uh, 
they're uh, they're not your person my love they're coming back around something's coming up they're coming back around uh, for a new start with you I don't see it working out I see them betraying you I see them just looking for a good time. This is where you break the pattern. <laughs> Hiccups. I just ate a cookie. This is where you break the pattern. It's coming in. Someone may be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Um, maybe an Aquarius. It looks good at the beginning. This is what I'm... I can see that it actually looks really great in the beginning. It looks like... Um, you've changed. Great. You've... you've. I, I'm just really getting that. You've changed. This is good. I see that you've finally changed. I'm not having to wait for you anymore. They haven't changed, my love. Yeah, this is time for you to break the pattern. Why is the page of swords in reverse here for best you can hope for? You know what that means? Page of swords in reverse is a whole lot of talk and not a lot of action. They were... Maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There is nothing they can do to change the situation they are in. They're just... Uh... Uh, I want to say take advantage of the situation, but it's not quite right. It's something a little bit different than taking advantage of the situation. Semantics, though. It's uh, it's like why why not? While you're here, let's do this. Making the most of it. It's uh, I can't quite get the right words. It's something like that. It's something like taking advantage of the situation, making the most of it. Why not? This person isn't reliable. If they're all like, I'm gonna leave behind this life and finally make a move towards you, it's, it's. They're gonna betray you. If they've already betrayed you before, they're definitely gonna betray you again. If this is the first time, really, they're not coming in. This person isn't coming in. They're they're coming in for uh, good times, and that's it. If you if you go to bed with this person, it'll be awesome. It'll be great, and then they're gonna kind of jump out of bed and run away because they got what they wanted. You can fall for it. And get your heart broken again. This person. I, I think for some of you, you've never even got that far. You've never um, been intimate with this person, but they've broken your heart still. Um, that's what I'm saying. It's probably the first time that they might actually get away with this. Don't let them get away with it. You sort of feel like maybe, yeah, but what if I always wonder? It's always wondering is better than the way you're going to feel after that. Let's read this outcome here. No, I'm not reading the outcome yet. You, Five of Swords. Why is Five of Swords here for you? You feel like this person is is your one um 
this is the thing. This person's not available. They're not your person. There's so many more people out there. There's like 7 billion people on planet Earth. You know? This is not your person. You feel like they are, but they're not. There's, there's people that are available. So stop waiting around for somebody who's frankly not good enough for you. There's just a lot of conflict and this person's always going to make you feel like you're not good enough. Let, let's read the outcome. I'm not going to, I'm not going to read them. Uh, I'm going to read them in the, uh, in the extended. I'm not going to read them here because there's no point. They're just using you. The outcome here is a page of pentacles. It's, it's sort of a very like naive feeling of here here's my pentacle i'll pick it up here's my pentacle it's nice it's such a lovely pentacle that's you offering your love to them and i just i just feel like tell me more i just feel like they're gonna run away with that defend yourself nine of wands ten of wands in reverse this is not your person. Start looking for someone who is available. This person's just going to break your heart. They're going to betray you. They're going to get what they want out of you and run. You're a magical, mystical being and they want your cup. Once they get it. Look, they've already got three cups there. They're not happy with the three cups they've got. They want yours just to add to the collection. Once they've got it. Oh, well, there's another cup, I suppose. And then there's the Five of Cups that comes up after that. They've lost those three cups. This is someone who's always just unhappy, never happy. Nothing's ever good enough. They always want more than what they have. They're never satisfied. And this person's just gonna hurt you, so walk away, my loves. Mandicello by Cheap Trick. That's your song of the day. Look at me, love God, look at you. Think of me like I think of you. Beautiful song. I can hear you laughing. Look at the bigger picture for freaking sure with this one. You you know, you know this person's playing you. They're always going to be playing you. And they're never going to give you what you deserve. Because they're always going to make you feel like you're not good enough. And you are, my love. I'm going to take this into extended, where I'm going to ask about this person. Where are you in their heart space? How do they really feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. See you later.